Hey folks, how's it going? We are two classes out of five, with the next one being the Lumberjack, one I was really looking forward to. It's always been a bit of a jack of all trades, bringing healing, bringing damage, bringing defense down, strength, and I'm really curious to see what they gave it. Problem is, spending these mats now. Probably should have gone a little bit lighter on the alchemy. Okay, ooh, 12% damage cap. A little bit of healing, it's not going to hurt. More HP than attack, more HP is going to be nice. And the 12% cap is fantastic. So, amplify otherwise normal attack damage. From the second cast, echo. From the third cast, double strike. It's on an 8 turns cooldown though. Uh, 3 out of 8 buff uptime. Unless you can bring this up or unless you can reset it. Yeah, it's going to take a while until you get the double strike, which might be a bit too slow. Bird Song of Bony Breeze, self buff just for MC, restores all allies HP at the end of the turn. One time dispel cancel every 5 turns, removes one debuff from all allies when a foe uses a special attack. This is fantastic. You cannot recast it, which means it's even better for full auto, you get one less kill cast every single rotation and it brings a much needed dispel cancel. Probably not that useful for the next guild war since Neon and Estariola already have it, but still. Third skill, Log Lop, 3 hit elemental damage to all foes, boost to all allies multi attack rate and damage cap, stackable. While Woodcutter Song is in effect, auto activates upon normal attacks. Upon normal attacks? It's another permanent skill. And Woodcutter Song, if I remember correctly, this was buffed to have a 4 out of 6 turns uptime. Yeah, 4 out of 6. I think the bottom two skills are the better ones, just cause the first one seemed a bit too slow. Yeah, I guess this has always been a class more suited for longer fights, and I do like the amount of sustain it gives. If it gives also Dispel Cancel and free clears, it's all the better. One class it's going to have to compete against is going to be the um, Necomancer, since that too got some really nice enhancements. But I think this might actually make it come out on top. And Loglop is also another 2.5 million skill. It's also something that auto activates on normal attacks, it doesn't need any button presses. Okay, I saw a 2k heal, but I'm not actually sure if it was the skill. Also, this procs alongside the normal healing from being hit. So you can actually get two lines of healing every turn for the first four turns. I guess that curse status is not removable. We should have gotten a clear already. Point two K, three point five K heal for the second time. Now, Lumberjack, I think it's something we'll have to try against the higher level enemies during the United fight. It looks decent. I do like the amount of damage it brings, as well as the sheer amount of utility it has. 
Again, the dispel cancel, fantastic buff, so we'll just have to wait and see. I used to run Doctor in here since everyone was constantly at low HP, but we'll see just how much MC can heal right now. As we start by taking 30k damage. Alright, oh, since this is Arcarum and we are using the Arcarum books, the damage is going to be a bit all over the place. We have Wehara Cap, we have a lot of skill supplemental, CA supplemental. So it should be a little bit better compared to the standard thing overall. Yeah, looks like we're mostly fine. Actually regaining health rather than keep losing it. Yeah, charge the deck four times, but it's not going to happen, so <laughs> this might be a bit of a heavy hit. But we're up to 1.6 million autos, 1.3 million autos for Dashura. So yeah, that stacking cap up might be really really nice. Might have been a while, but no one even got down to the red health required for Doctor to start healing people up, so I'm calling this a win. Uh, 13 turns though. And I think I might want to compare this to a um, Necomancer. See which class keeps up the team better. Sadly, you can't get any stats from this, but we have the turn count. I guess we're going to have to use that. And let's see if they also take 13 turns, as well as how much health... Um, how much health they reach those 13 turns with. Because again, Necomancer should bring a boost to all our stats. But it's not a damage cap boost. Healing seems to be 2.6k per turn, plus of course the drain from Poseidon. Okay, the armored and some shields are doing a pretty decent job so far. Yeah, okay, no, 12 turn, 25%, so... Looks like Lumberjack is a little bit of an upgrade over the Commencer. Especially if you can bring buffs of your own. 
And there we go, 16 turns. Three turns longer compared to Lumberjack. So, yeah, kind of happy about how Lumberjack turned out. Still a pretty decent class for generic content, especially in sandbox, since there is where you might still need a little bit more sustain. So, I guess we'll leave it at that. Time to move on to the next one. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and see you around soon. Ciao!